get out on the road here. So I wanna get into my pedals and get it. out for turtles geese and deer okay everything's slightly frozen around here Got some pretty good miles on the me thingy here, right? Um, let's see where we're at. It's 12.30, 12 12.13. 12 Man. Let's see, let's see where this dirt road takes us.
<laughs> Sorry, I know I'm riding into the sun right now. back here See this sign. Oh. Ah, okay. I was like, what is this one? Things you have to look out for here in this yacht state. Um, going on people's, I, was, I thought this was a private property sign, not a petroleum line. Um, <laughs> Going on people's property in Missouri can uh, can be a little dangerous, to say the least, especially on farmland. Um, that's all I'm gonna say about that. So I was just trying to make sure I wasn't gonna end up on someone's farmland because I've traveled this road by car before, uh, trying to make it to uh, the point where uh, the Missouri and uh, Mississippi, uh, the Missouri River and the Mississippi River merge, as you can see. And why it's so, so kind of dangerous. Let me hop on. Make sure you hit leaning. Oh, I'm like, I'm, already, I'm way in the road. I'm not even cross the line or anything. So, these are. You know, this is pretty much farmland. This was all corn. Oh man, this is this probably would have been a a beautiful ride uh, in the in the summer. I definitely want to come back here in the summer. Get your mixture of alcohol and whatever here. <laughs> um, what else? This is all corn out here. Cornfield for days. Uh, the last time I was here, uh, this stuff, I think this was still kind of grown up. Not really 100% sure. Uh, I was riding it to uh, make it to that point and um, either the form down the road, where's this vehicle coming? And wait for this vehicle to pass. It's got like five minutes, but well, it's got a little time before it makes it to me, but still it's gonna outrun me, even with the trailer. And I didn't make it because uh, 
they had the road closed because some like i said some of this goes through private property and they had the road closed because i guess they were moving cattle cattle or whatever was made to be off the road. Definitely not a whole lot out here. All right, so comments, more comments about this jacket. I rode out here when it was really cold one day. And now I'm riding out when I want to, it's about 45, so it's a lot warmer. Uh, it's 15 degrees warmer or close to 15 degrees the last time I was out riding in it. And now it's all sorts of caterpillars on the road. Why did the caterpillar cross the road? because it didn't, knew it wasn't gonna make it through the winter. There's a ton of them out here. And it is venting nicely. I am not overheating at all. Get the bird watchers out. You guys gonna outrun me. <laughs> On my best day. This is kinda cool. I don't know if there's anything else down there. I can see what that sign is talking about. down here it's a, a sign down here I want to see exactly what this goes to I don't know if I've been down here or not I'm in new territory now. River Project Office, huh?
of here gets just a little hot. <laughs> Let in a little air. When it starts to get a little close, cut off the air. <laughs> close, up, close up the vents. Well, guys, I don't know where I'm going today. I'm just on the road. I'm just on the road, literally on the road. Heading. It's a trail where it said trail. Go to the end of this. Let's see this. <laughs> this uh, is a rough ride. Do not let the image stabilization of this GoPro fool you. I am getting beat to crap right now. Good and dirty today. Go out to this lookout. a few of these birds were imported hopefully this is gonna pick up pretty nice minus the shadow of myself
Ah. Well, not that I look for any mussels, but I didn't know that there were mussels in there. Tada! There's a little picnic bench down there. So, I am, uh, I'm really excited that I, I picked up that bike. Uh, this bike has, it has definitely gotten me to come to uh, more places. If, uh, if, ah, uh, on one of my other videos, don't lose me gloves or my phone. That's the dam. Oh, look, that's the official name of it, but everyone else knows that that's the Alton Dam. And the reason why doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter, but uh, we all call it the Alton Dam because uh, we're right now, we're in Missouri, but it is the, the part of Missouri that we're in is called West Alton. <sighs> Hence, that's why we gave that dam the Alton Dam. Alton, Illinois is right ahead of us straight ahead going across the bridge there that's alton that's alton illinois fun fact about alton illinois or just around this area in general uh during the civil war there were some uh there were some battles fought around here and in this area that we're going to make it to very soon uh was a confederate prison for it was a prison for confederate soldiers and of uh, the damp the the actual uh union base was on this side of the water on this side of the mississippi and on the other side of the mississippi was the prison for the confederate soldiers so we're going to make it there the prison no longer stands it's just ruins now but we'll it'll definitely be a, a good um a, a good thing to see a little bit of um, Missouri history and I guess um, how the country looks at it as American heritage heritage can't even get that to come out of my mouth oh. 104 miles I'm ridden four miles today Four, four new miles. Let's see where this goes. Why not? Totally see where this goes. Totally <laughs> ignored this before. I'm gonna shoot this way.
different this this is actually this this is really nice if uh this is this is handicap accessible if you you know if you can find two wheelchair walkers Ooh. <laughs> i am i am definitely more comfortable getting in and out of my pedals when need be Oh, I, I will tell you that was uh, all right. Um, all right, I'm back to my to my starting point here. Um, I can honestly say um, I don't know what the temperature is, but I've been out here a little while. Um, I can say that uh, um, with absolute certainty that uh, I can say I want to put my um, my base layer back on. Be right back. Okay. Um, I don't know what else. What else signs I got left to go? I don't know what else I got left to do here, man. I mean, been on the trail and I kind of did it all. <laughs> Back to this really rough setup. But it's grass, I can't say it's a really tough setup. I think this is all, I think there's a little bit left down here and I can see. Then I can start my, my journey home.
Imagine those caterpillars again. Check out this little area right here. This is boss, hold on. This is, this is, this is decent, man. Oh, this is awesome. This is, this is cool. That, that is cool. That is cool. That, that is, this is cool. It's a little fire pit. That's the first time I've seen this or seen anything like it. This is uh, cool. I don't know um, how good that's coming through, so I will. Snap it like this. Have to back it up a little. Back it up. Cool. Fix it right there. Nope, I'm out. That's cool. There's like not much to see here though, so I'm out. if this is a, a area that we can hit or is it close to the public this might just be a looking point let's see what we got uh okay so uh Hiking trail closed. Uh, I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. Uh, yeah, be back on the 15th. Oh, we got here. You know, it's mating season and everything. Gotta respect that. I love uh, the wildlife. That's why one of the things that got me into um, camping and such. Hopefully I'm shielding this enough so you can see what's going on here. I can respect that. Uh, I'll probably get it without the glare on it. Nope, can't get it without the glare on it. Okay, I did this one today. I did, I did this one today. This is where we, well, this is, you're here. So I need to do this trail 
uh, in April. April 15th, mark down the books. That's where we're gonna be. Spring, summer, April 15th on opening day. I'm hitting this trail. No matter what the weather is, I said it so it shall be done. And this bike is gross. Um, yeah, get your bikes dirty, people. <laughs> I really, I kind of wish I would have brought my camera, but I'm still glad I didn't. <clears throat> this is a different ride today. Different ride today. But uh, I've honestly, I think I've uh, seen really all I can see. Everyone is out bird watching. I definitely, uh, things I'm going to do this summer or spring, I am going to ride the Katy Trail from beginning to end. Being that it, it really, I'm pointing the wrong direction, but it ends uh, actually not too far from here, believe it or not. I don't think it's my brakes actually. I don't know what it is. We gotta find a squeak, fellas. This is just a form up here, I think. But we'll we'll go down here anyway. Something may just need some oil. I've taken these things apart so many times. Some just probably need some oil. Little grease. Little grease on the track. Oh, and uh, yeah. With all, all the stuff on this bike. Of course, everyone can already say it. Yes, it does. Even though uh, the bike still rides really well with stuff on it. I can't tell where the squeak is coming from. dam is closed right now they close it so uh it's usually it's, it's like really full around here but the dam is closed right now to say I'm hungry and I am mucked up in my seat my seat it's got to be falling man there's a park office over here all right I think I've made it 
pretty much to the end of the road. like I'm out here I mean why not right I mean I'm out <laughs> what else do I have to do this, this is gonna be the last place I'm gonna visit today and then I'm gonna ride it on home the best fishing spot in Missouri for snag fishing. This is your best place. If you want to do some snagging, this is where you come to. Watch the cars over here. Got a boat launch over there to get you out in the river. One year coming out here, we had um, a big issue with Asian carp. And they were trying to weed them out of the river. So uh, there's all sorts of stuff out here. There's catfish. Um, I don't think there's any bass in here, but there are definitely things like uh, spoonbill, um, buffalo. There, there's a, a, a huge variety. There's probably a sign telling you all the species of, of um, fish that are in here. But the beautiful thing about it, and you're really only, blah, you're only allowed to snag fish when um, the dam is open because you really can't. It's uh, you're catching them going downstream or upstream or whatever and you won't get anything right now, really. But this is good for bank fishing, if it's fishing season. <laughs> I've fished here many of times. Back to my Asian carp story. So the Asian carp were, they're still pretty bad, but what was happening was um, Missouri Wildlife said, if you catch them, they're overpopulating, destroying the ecosystem, do not throw them back. So all along this bank, all along this bank where people had snagged or just caught 
uh, these Asian carp, they were just all along this, just all along this bank, and it was it was very very smelly, and and Asian carp are pretty big. Now there are people that like to fish. Uh, if you like a bony fish that is dead, that's one that you can try. It's not a disgusting fish. It's just really really bony. Uh, sort of I guess it's like a buffalo. I'm, to me, I think buffalo and carp are the same thing. I, I truly, truly believe. But uh, let me look it up and edit that as I'm spitting this garbage, right? Um, I was here uh, with one of my friends, Yuri, a Ukrainian. Uh, and he was teaching me how to snag fish. It was my first time out. It's about 5 in the morning or so. And... Uh, I actually caught something, but it was an Asian carp. There was like, someone who just pulled in. They were getting their cooler set up, and they were about to try their luck when I when I pulled it onto the bank. And it was, and Yuri was telling me I was I didn't really ask him why all the carp were there at the time, but when I caught one, he was explaining it why they're all there. And as we were about to leave this fish on the bank, which really isn't something that I would prefer to do, but I understand. Uh, why there are certain things that are necessary um i do understand that uh but the fish needless to say that fish did not go to waste because the gentleman who pulled up got him a a free fish and that it, that thing weighed at least um it was 10 plus pounds it was it was a big it was a big one it was it was a decent one and i i snagged it on the side so it was hell trying to drag it in uh, it was a good time. People are looking at me talking crazy to myself right now, so. Awkward. <laughs> oh, I am hungry. Oh man. Oh man. Wow, okay, so. <laughs> and that's what, this is Missouri Wildlife. This is what all the projects that they have going on. I'll remember that. They're trying to get the paddlefish. Oh shit. trying to so uh for a while uh pedal fish spoon bills whatever uh they were endangered for a while and you had limits of what you can catch now here's the thing at one point they were saying do it and then they said no littering uh this is your government at work people but this was after they said leave the fish on the bank don't throw them back in there and now they're saying don't do it and now you get fined up to 200 dollars <sighs> nope 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 sorry sorry didn't say a fine up to 200 dollars. it's a 200 dollars fine <laughs> don't do it Oh, there's a porta potty out here. Oh, 
It's been a journey today. I'm going to go home. Find me some food. Kind of shaping up to be a good day. Eight mile ride so far. Probably about three miles from the car or so. Every time I stop moving though, I gotta heat up again. I guess this is the, the classified bike lane. <laughs> It's nice and clean. Oh, usually I don't like to cross across the line. <sighs> that uh, little waffle and uh, four pieces of bacon and coffee that I had this morning. Well, that is definitely gone at 1 uh, 20 in the afternoon.
this uh this helmet is going as, as far as um how it's putting some protection on my ears like, yeah. i'm still going to need a balaclava when uh the weather really gets there you guys gonna drive off you guys gonna make them go around you this will be some nice pictures <laughs> Definitely, definitely hungry. So, things that I've learned. Uh, while riding, you can tell who rides bikes on the open road and who does not. Uh, people that generally ride bikes on the open road uh, give bikers plenty of room because they understand how things in this lane changes pretty rapidly for us so when they pass us give us pretty wide berth i notice that's what i do and i can only really contribute that to riding a bunch yeah. oh man this bike is muddy Cruise at about 12 miles an hour.
Yeah, it seemed like I was a little ways away. I put nine miles on, don't know really how I did it. Pretty awesome over there. With all the amount of lollygagging and shenanigans, I rode nine miles. Oddly enough, all the way back there, thought I'd ridden pretty far. Not really, <laughs> not really at all. I just been pedaling around this area for a little while. Nice folks. I thought that was at least a mile, or even my counter isn't working. I don't know. That seemed like that should have been a mile to me. Just hit a mile, so <laughs> there it is. So, my question, well, a thought that I had was how many miles can I get out of this bike on one, uh, how many miles can I get out of this battery? So, uh, technically, so far, I've, I've gotten, uh, I want to hit this trail just one more time before I leave. You know what? You know what they say with, uh, if you go one more time does. Uh, one more time usually equals bad stuff. Um, have a while before I... need to get back to my dog so
Hello. I am uh, officially filthy though. Go here. see I uh, so not 16 miles it was about 14 miles I rode uh, I was at uh, 96 miles the last time I came out here I rode the four miles to get to turn off turn over or to hit a hundred then once I hit a hundred I truly left it at that then I came out today and uh, now I'm at 110. So, but I didn't charge the battery. That was the point that I was making. It was on full charge. So I've gotten 14 miles out of it. I'm down one bar and I'm charging my phone. thinking how I'm finally super comfortable with uh, my clip-in pedals and I was give me some hair a little bit and I'm trying to I'm coming up through here Ugh. but it was like uh, how long did it really take me to get comfortable with these pedals uh, I believe I started riding them I was probably 20 or 30 miles in uh, okay. change the pedal assist because it gets a little sandy through here these are all my little sand tracks. Oh, my back end is whoo, trying to get away from me. All right, so we already know what this is. I'm on the back, all right. Flipping my pedals over. Getting, oh, oh, my ass is sliding out of here. It's like my ass is sliding out of here. This one wasn't it. Got a snake crossing? This right here. This, this is where I fell. And I'm probably, yep, I'm up though. But I wouldn't have made it if my foot wasn't down. And that was like the real only sketchy part. And I'm out here. Oh, and my pedal flipped over on me and didn't even know it. That is uh, one of the scariest things about uh, these pedals. Is that um, I flip them over so I can get the most uh, traction out of them when I need to. Uh, hey, I'm just gonna head home now. Uh, when I just need to. Um, make sure that I can make it around something but that little bit of bouncing or whatever I did and the pedal flipped back over on me or it could have flipped over honest truth it could have flipped over when I put my foot down to make sure I didn't fall but either way um, it can flip back over on you and you think you got the flat you, you think you're on the flat part and you're not Um, luckily for me, I don't panic and I, I tend to uh, pull up on them to make sure that I'm in the right positions. And not talk when I'm riding through puddles that I can't avoid. 
I am dirty today, folks. Adventures from the Rad. Rad Adventures. Usually, you know, <clears throat> ah, I need to pull my buff up. Finally down two bars, and not really. I just pop back up, so I'm I'm about to drop down two. Uh, <sighs> cool. I'm tired. They say, boogie out. <laughs> 